Hey guys, Normal Trader on Isles of Haida Gwaii for our island venture. Alright, it's storm season here in Haida Gwaii. Uh, the ocean is rough as can be. And uh, the winds are blowing and it's raining. So, what's with that? The temperature starts to drop and uh, we need to get the wood stove going. So let's uh, show you how I light my wood stove. Right during storm season, the dogs are curled up on the couch and they don't want to go anywhere. So, here's my wood stove. I've got a nice supply of wood, got some kindling, and I'm going to show you how I load this up and get it going. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to select your piece of wood. And this is a three split, so I've got two sides split and one side bark. And what first thing we want to do is open the flue all the way and open the door. So I've got a little bit of ashes in there. You always want to maintain about an inch uh, bed of ashes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this plug and if there's any ash at the door, push it all the way back. And then I'm going to slide him into the far back of the stove. And what I want to do is I want to keep two sides of the cut to the front. And what that's going to do is that's going to give you me the maximum surface area for the flames uh, from the kindling to light. And now we're going to put some paper in. Okay, for me, what I use is I use the junk mail that comes in to uh, our house. And what I do is I take five sheets and I scrumple them up and put them right in the very front of the stove. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pile kindling on top and uh, that's going to give me a quick burn. Okay, so what I do is I randomly apply about 25 sticks of kindling. Now what I'm using is the cedar shakes that we used to have on the roof that I replaced with the metal roof. And we stripped off all the cedar shakes and we saved them all and Deb uh, painstakingly removed all the nails out of them. And uh, so what I've done is I've now split them up because cedar makes a beautiful, beautiful fire. And uh, they're all nice and dry. So let's light it up. Okay, so I got just a little piece of newspaper hanging off the edge. I've got the vent all the way open, make sure. And we're gonna light that up. And as soon as it's going, okay, I'm going to close the door. And on this particular stove, I can actually latch it all the way. Okay, and with that kindling and that amount of newspaper, I'm going to get a quick, quick uh, heat into my flue, and it's going to draw like mad, and I'm going to get a good burn. Now, I've been doing this for the uh, last little bit, and this works every time. So, once that fire gets going, you can see it's taken off quite rapidly. And uh, once it gets going, I'm going to throw another log on top of that kindling. And that fire is good to go. Alright guys, so there's our fire. She's uh, going full bore. And uh, she's generating some nice heat into the house. And we're just starting into the, the nice burn range. And uh, that's just a simple way of how I light my wood stove on the Azahari Okay, remember Take care.